In the course of the pandemic, the UK has amassed a record number of billionaires, 171. Their wealth has rocketed by more than £106 billion. In total, it now stands just shy of £600 billion, up nearly 25% since May 2020. So it's safe to say, Madam Deputy Speaker, this super-rich class has not had financial worries these past 18 months. Unlike millions of people across the country, they don't have to worry about putting food on the table, about paying the rent, or the costs of caring for elderly relatives. So you might think that instead of hitting the living standards of our heroic key workers, it would be this super rich class who would be asked to pay more when the NHS and social care system is in desperate need of funding. But that's not how it is under a Conservative government. This national insurance hike will hit low paid and young workers the hardest while doing absolutely nothing to tax the wealth of the super rich. For a bound five nurse in Coventry, it will cost them more than five hundred pounds sorry, more than two hundred and fifty pounds. For a recent graduate, their marginal tax rate, once student loan repayments are included, is now close to fifty percent. It is another attack on the living standards of the working class and the young, from a party that for 11 years has let the rents of my generation soar, our student debt rocket while wages stagnate. But it doesn't come in isolation. Next month, the party opposite plans to cut universal credit by £20 a week, the biggest overnight social security cut in the history of the welfare state, a move that will push 500,000 working class people into poverty. And yesterday, the party opposite announced that it would break the triple lock on pensions, robbing retirees of nearly £350 a year, at a time where pensioner poverty is already at a 15-year high. Madam Deputy Speaker, this government is hammering working class people, raising taxes on workers while cutting their safety net, and doing nothing to reign the vast wealth of the super rich. They pretend they're one nation, but in truth, again, today they show they only represent one class, that of billionaire donors and the super rich property developers, the big landlords and the fossil fuel barons. Madam Deputy Speaker, yes, the NHS and social care system desperately need more funding. Our care system needs to be transformed into a national care service modelled on our amazing NHS free at the point of use for all. But this must be funded by a wealth tax on the super rich, not an income tax on the poor. Thank you.